This is another wild card for this week. You know, it's been quite refreshing just to check out a whole bunch of different games, even if not all of them are something that make me want to come back to them. Then again, I have found myself thinking a bit more about Endless Legend after playing it. Still, this isn't Endless Legend. This is Roos, not to be confused with Ruse, which is some kind of military strategy game that I thought looked interesting but never actually played. This seems to be some kind of godly game where the whole object is just to build up the world and make it thrive. To any metrics, I have no idea, but we're going to find that out, so let's jump into it. Uh, just have everything set up as normal, why not? Jake's been scrubbing up reading competitive Pokédex, oh god no. I am not interested in getting into competitive Pokémon, it sounds like a surefire way to not have any fun. Okay. What's going on here? We've awakened from our slumber. The surface is dry, barren, and lifeless. Oh, we must be the planet then, since it's talking about us and our surface. So we are the planet. Excellent. Uh, teaching us basic controls. I think I know how to zoom in and zoom out. Rotate the planet. Move the camera with arrow keys, as if. Does Wyatt do anything? No, I think Wyatt is used for abilities here. Uh, create the giant. Use what little strength you have. Create the ocean and rock giant. Get right on that. So there's our watery giant. Here's our mountainous giant. He looks very unhappy, or perhaps very uncomfortable. The goal is to have life roam your surface eternally. Does that mean they're going to have to go through hardships where we're not around to help them? I don't know. You'll need to turn this dry wasteland into a paradise. Click on the giant or its portrait. Portrait's here, giant here. And we get the ability bar at the bottom. Very good. Now you can use right mouse button to click on a patch in order to make the giant move there. Make these guys move towards each other. There you go. Base bar to pause. I do like some possible real time and inquire about the land. Click on it, we find that it is empty, dry, wasteland, but then again the whole planet is. Can't seem to click on the molten core. That really does look like it's going to be a problem for us if we dig too deeply, doesn't it? Or maybe I can make some nice hot springs for our people later on. Right, let's start out. Let there be water. Water for life. There we go. I get the punching, but where is he? Where is he finding all the water? Perhaps it was down there in the soil all along. Hmm. Does the world have a finite amount of water, or is it possible for it to entirely dry up? These are kinds of things that I just don't know. Well done. Oceans are the first step in creating life. Something is trembling beneath the surface. It's our good friend, the Ent. Seems conscious enough to wear some kind of leafy clothes there. I think I fought you in Majora's Mask. So, now you're gonna get your own thing to do. There we go, let's have some forestry. Get the forestry commission on board. Seems to fit very well within the amount of land that had water access. Ah, he looks pretty chuffed to himself. He does, however, look a bit like a monkey, and those keep appearing in games to ruin my day. So hopefully it's not too much of a problem. Right, onwards to Rock Giant. Time for you to raise a mountain and create a desert. Yeah, sure, let's just put it right on the edge of the water here. He doesn't even need to touch the land to raise it up. That doesn't look dry enough to me. Oh, he, he needs to do it on dry desert. That's all wet desert, I understand. However, it has made a bit more of a habitable looking area here as it goes into the wasteland. There we go. It's not much, but it's still life. Actually, it's quite a lot of life. Mountains also cancel out oceans. Use your abilities to cover at least half of your patches in habitable land. 
Alright, well, it sounds like you could go and make this into lovely, habitable, greenish land, and you're going to follow up by making this all watery. Uh, go on, then. Meanwhile, you need to keep the hope alive. Let's go and make this mountainous as well. Actually, when you put that mountain up, you made a lot of area somewhat habitable. So we'll go and do you there. Oh, you've already done your work, haven't you? Go and move over here. You'll be needed soon enough. Or rather, over here. I think I had the wrong one selected, didn't I? Yeah, I want you over here. Not you. You're meant to be making me some mountain right about there. Means you can do your forestry commissioning there. A couple of patches of water should be fine. I want some variance around here. Excellent. I forget half the planet. The whole planet's going to be somewhat habitable here. The word roost means giant in that accursed Dutch language, Jake. I did notice, I didn't want to bring attention to it, but yeah, this game has been made by Dutch people. We'll try and not let that soil the experience. Well done, you've accomplished your goal. Wasn't much of a goal here. You've learned to create oceans, forests, mountains, and deserts. You hope the life blooming from your lands will remain while you slumber. Click to continue and view all your achieved developments. I don't feel like I've developed much here. Oh right, it was split into eras, wasn't it? That's the first era. What? Uh, oh, this is just Tutorialville. Fine, what comes next? Life, I would imagine. Planet, you've been sleeping for aeons. Yuna's aeons? What will be left of your lush lands? Probably not much. Without maintenance, yeah, it all just dies away. We're in the second era. Press question for extra info. Okay. Next button. Let's continue on then. You've awoken from your slumber. We're dry and barren once again. You recall a time when you used your giants to create oceans and forests. Um, getting deja vu here all over again. Looks like there are roaming life-filled hills in the background there. Unless those shapes are rocks, but it look more like trees. You sense a faint spark of life somewhere from deep below. Is it asking for a surface to live on? Uh, raise a forest of ten patch. That'll be easy enough. Does that water spread as he goes deeper? Or is that all we get? I think that's all we get. Is this a challenge game or a try game? Don't know what you mean by that, but I don't have any challenge that I'm working on here. I'm just trying the game out. Right, there's a change. Somewhere in a cave, something small has awoken. You sense a new spark of life. Alright, what can you do for me? Ah, fruits! How many fruits? I wonder if there's a limit on how many powers you can use. This looks like some kind of ability bar. Mm -hmm. We crafting a map for Age of Empires here? Okay, so by putting down edible things, we actually have people living here. And they're already chopping down my forests, the bastards. Uh, as soon as humans settle, their thoughts and feelings flow back into you. It would be wise to learn as no, no humans are a blight on my world here. Click on a village, see the village borders light up beneath. So this is what they consider their own, I imagine. At the end of the village border is marked by a bunker and a boy. Okay, so this is what they have. They are protecting their lands, it seems. Good for them. Can you drown the new village? You ask an important question, but I think we're locked in by these tutorials. 
Placing animals, plants, or minerals within village borders will generate resources. They want to grow using food, wealth, and technology provided by you. You can tap control to cycle through additional info about what the patches are currently producing. So if I were to click on, no not you, click on here, and then press control. Oh no, control shows this, ooh. I'd rather have all this information at once, but what are you going to do? Uh, the blueberries providing five foods. So the maximum food they can use is five. Village resources viewed by da 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 da. Okay, prosperity four. They're greedy. No war marks. No danger. They're peaceful. They respect the giants. Sounds like they might someday not respect the giants. This is feeling kind of Peter Molyneux so far. Except it hasn't promised me anything, or everything. Uh, okay, we got this. Great. Place some more fruit plants within the borders. See what it does for them. Uh, okay. Here's another batch of fruit. You ungrateful peons. Plus ten food if next to... Da -da 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 -da. Okay, good for them. Not entirely sure. Oh, right, the amount of food that they can have has gone up. You can also see the village panel. These two blueberries now generating ten food. Ten food will be in use. You can always speed things up with extra resources. The bigger the difference between the food in use and the food in the borders, the faster the food use will grow. Raise the food use to eleven with more fruit planting. Can I plant fruits right on top of their village? Not sure if they'd like that or not. Yeah, it doesn't look like I can plant it on lands that they have taken care of like this. And unfortunately, there's a cooldown on using my fruity thing, so i got to wait a bit. If they respect us, how about a little bit of human sacrifice to show that humility? You're speaking my language here. I'm cutting down my bleeding forests, though. Can't say I appreciate it. There we go. Well, with that, surely they'll bring their food usage up. Next to an apple tree, dandelion or strawberry? What are such things? Is this to simulate that their population is growing? I don't know, but I still want to go and drown them with crab man. Is it not growing? It's a 10 out of 15, but isn't growing. Oh, no, there we go, it's at 11. Done and done right. They're growing, they're gaining knowledge, started building some of their own. Ooh. They built a granary, and they, of course they need my help. Building a granary project has allowed the villagers to gain a specialization. Specialization, upper right hand corner. Mushroom eaters, food, mineral. Ah, so perhaps by giving them this, I won't need to keep giving them fruits. They will be able to get their mushrooms out of minerals. Meaning I don't need so much space for fruit. The giants lack the skill to create minerals. Completing the project should help remedy this. And it looks like the, the objective needs them to have a lot of fruit going for them. Okay. Did she just sneeze some leaves? could do with you as my Pokemon. Alright, no easy task. Luckily it seems that the ocean giant has grown stronger. He can make domestic animal ability in the forest. Is that so? Okay, so now there appear to be wee animals around here that they're probably going to hunt and eat. All animals have an area of effect. Click the animals, see what they're up to. Symbiosis free range. Plus three food if a blueberry is within animal range. I guess it is. Click on the patch of chickens, view their statistics. Do you notice the sim- yeah, I can see that there. Placing chickens near blueberries will create symbiosis. 
chickens and allow them to generate much more food. Well, good for them. See if you can use the symbiosis of the chickens to complete the food project. Sure. Uh, it's giving me an exclamation mark here for reasons I'm not quite sure about. I wonder if I could go and build some water over here so they can have more stuff to, to work with. Alright, they all seem pretty chuffed about having built a granary where they're going to store all their fruits. Excellent, because of your positive influence, the villagers have decreed their ambassador to join you. They wish to climb upon the shoulders of your giants and increase their strength. These humans are getting a little too uppity for my liking. Oh, hello again, mountain man. Rock giant has awoken. It's in need of a new ability. Select the rock giant. And use the right mouse button to press the text bubble above the ambassador. Okay, so now you're going to pick up the ambassador and have him on your shoulder. I don't really like this elevation of humans. It's a little bit too swift for my liking. When do I get the nukes giant? Alright, well that uppity upstart of a human is, so I can't zoom in and pan up, but there he is, standing on top of the head. The Ambassador's Spirits unlock new abilities for Rock Giant, Precious Minerals, right, that's what we're talking about. Select the patch of the Granary, Specialization, Improved, allows villagers to get extra food from minerals, placed by the Rock Giant, well I gathered that much. Careful not to break any symbioses. I'll just crunch it over here. Not what I was expecting when placing minerals, but there you go. The project specialization gives extra food for the ag agate. Villagers grown, developed greatly. You sense there's still life roaming on your surface. Raise a desert. Now ah, we're talking. Let's get away from these guys and make ourselves a nice new desert. Uh, right here. Like the intimidating footsteps of giant rock man. And we're taking away that villager's ambassador. That's the last you'll ever see of your people. Nice. Use the ocean giant's domestic animals. Place some animals around the large desert. Make sure there's enough desert for the village to settle on. If a village is not settling, there's not enough space. Well, can I put you up there? It's giving me an exclamation mark wherever I try to do this, but uh, what the hell? Put you up here. Animals right at the top of the mountain. How much from a mountain? More of a hill. What kind of animals are these? I'm really sure they're the kind I'd want to be eating, but if you're starving, you'll eat anything. Perhaps they don't want to do it on top of my mountain. Alright, we'll bring the animals down a bit. Mm. Yeah, yeah, on this side. You guys moaning about stuff? They want clothes, they want fruit, they want beer, they want diamonds, they want sunshine, they want bananas and trumpets. Humans are such a blight. Alright, come on, show us the animals. There's not a lot of food available from these animals, is it? Oh, but dare I say, is that a human? Where does that human live? He lives over here in Lushrun. Tell me about yourself, Lushrun. Greedy once again, of course. Use the ocean jet. Oh, I just did that.
Now the wee project they're getting on seems to be, I don't know, religion? A shrine is being built. They need wealth and food. The specialization generates food for each animal within village borders. Uh, there's quite a few animals within the borders here. Although there could always be more. The kangaroo rats generate one food for each patch within their range. Specialization plus five food for each animal. It's quite a lot. It requires wealth. We need precious minerals here. Well, we can get right on that. Mineral boy. Give these greedy buggers what they desire. Punch the ground, see how they like that. Oh, it goes way down for all that wealth. These people are also happy. Good. How much wealth are they needing for this? Ten, so one will not suffice. I'm going to need more of that. Shame about the cooldowns here, though. Said to do it on a desert, Jake, not a mountain. Well, where does the desert stop and the mountain begin? Riddle me that. Would you hear that? At the clearly marked zigzag line. <laughs> maybe. Maybe. There we go. Considerably more wealth to be had there. You'd think you'd get more wealth tunneling into the mountain, but what would I know? Only generates 10 wealth. This will slowly lead to more. We can increase this by making sure the villagers activate the minerals. Minerals can generate far more resources as they're activated. Click on the minerals. The requirements to activate. Activates with 5 wealth in use. So the more they dig down, the more they're going to use it. Okay. It's not very proactive, this game. Did their borders just expand? Oh boy, this is going to lead to war. <laughs> oh boy, this is going to lead to war. Alright, it's all activated. And they, of course, have their own symbiosis. Extra tech when next to stone. What is stone in this? Ah, right, another quartz would make that happen, but I don't really have the space to smash down another one of these unless I break their project. And I'm not so sure I can do that. How are things going here? Oh, they want a lot of wealth. But you, you just need a bit more food. And you're not really getting enough food, are you? Oh, definitely not. You only have two food within your border's reach. So we need to be giving you more domestic animals and whatnot. In fact, I think their food usage is going down. There we go. There's some actual bleeding food for them. Some kind of magical thing flew over here. Between the two of them, who do you think would win? These guys have been established for longer, but they spend all their time bickering. And they're not used to a life of hardship like these folks. And this looks like a far less hospitable place to live, which means they're going to have a bit more of that killer instinct going for them. Not to mention they get their food from killing. These people get their food just handed to them on these wee berry bushes. Nah. I'm quite certain that the village of Lushrun would crush Greenton. Hopefully it'll be like that god episode of Futurama. Your people wind up nuking Bender's ass. I haven't watched much Futurama, but I actually know the episode you're talking about. Alright, they've developed religion, which is further going to give them some zealotry in their upcoming war with Greentown. Humans have strengthened your core, you've learned about villages, resources, da da da. Time for slumber once again? Alright, nighty night then. Go ahead, lead the humans to different developments in an era game. There's also a third beginning to learn about greed, transmutations, and danger. If you're having any difficulties, you can always select third beginning. Ah, oh, good for me. It's not showing in the game window, but I am getting achievements for this. The humans seemed promising, but did they survive your long slumber? I wouldn't bet on it. <laughs> They're all dead again. Okay. 
But we've got a new bar up here. Prosperity, housing, some weird person and donkey image. So we're in the third era, we've awakened, we're dry, we're barren. We recall that time where there were food and wealth. Ancient DC is saying, when are you going to do a new season of Into the Airlock? Potentially never. I have driven that game into the ground and done everything I can think of doing in it. It's a fun game, but comes a point where you have to let go. Food, wealth, villages, projects. Yes, we do recall that, but they're all dead now. And yes, holding the groin, this was made by Dutch devs. Oh, crikey. You don't look so good, forest man. You got old and mossy and... Oh, you've got things dripping from you. Oh, it's Swamp Giant. That is a terrible game for the Nintendo. The Swamp Giant and... Oh, oh, of course it's made by the Dutch. They would think that Swamp is a hospitable environment. Alright, well, let's get swamping. Although you're probably going to need water for that. So let's get watering first. Freaking Dutch. Can you cancel out of that? No, once he once he gets going, there is no stopping him. Alright, swamp creature. Let's get swampy. Ugh. Your swamp thrives with life. Yeah, it's not really human life, though. Alright, using the Swamp Giant, we can create herbs in the swamp, if you insist. Okay, herbs give technology. And they're setting up their new home over here, which is probably not well placed because they can't exactly go into the water. The peppermints you placed are providing them technology. Technology and use will slowly rise up to 7 out of 7. Uh, the spirit of the villagers have allowed you to regain some of your strength. Your ocean giant has gained a new ability. The growth aspect. Are you going to make these into super herbs? This is the green hell. These people are going to get all kinds of diseases. All right, let's make super peppermints. You get out of here. The Dutch god. Okay, so now they're also giving food? Transmutations with tomatoes. Lesser growth object, better food. I don't really get it. You will notice the aspect appearing in the patch panel. Upper right corner, as you can see, the growth aspect has added food to the peppermints. Yeah, I see that's not a lot, though. All giants have aspect abilities which can upgrade plants, animals, or minerals. But you sense there is more. It's a transmute. Okay, so that's what we've got in here the tomatoes. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Oh, that was something I could select. Ah, I thought it was just active already. Okay, so we've got tomatoes and herbs. Seems like a very powerful output for one plot here. The Dutch have no god, Jake, says Taciturn. We create our own land. We don't need no stinking... The Dutch really need to be stopped. Thought they'd be starved out one day, but then Sweden of all countries saved them. Right, aspects used to transmute plants, good for us. Don't forget these tomatoes also have a new symbiosis. They give extra tech for each food on this patch. Weren't you giving that already? Hmm. By using the correct transmutation and symbiosis, you can complete projects with ease. Well, do these guys have any projects? They do now. A library! No, it's a school. Uh, close enough. The villagers demand that it be finished within a certain amount of time. You don't get to make demands out of me. Kill them. The Dutch were always a mistake.
Hey, you needed that civilization to populate the planet and learn about our relations with them. Well, if you don't want to learn, you can just continue. Damn right I can. There we go. We have killed every single Dutch person in existence, which already makes this the best game I've played all week. Good job, Roos. Ah. You know, some days you wake up and you're not sure if you're going to really make anything out of the day or if you're just going to go to bed that evening realizing that you have accomplished nothing. But today, I think I'm going to rest pretty easy. Okay, let's go and start a real game. Villagers like to start war with their most accessible and weakest neighbors. Very well. Right, a new era begins. Try to achieve different developments so we may grow in power. Achieve nine more to advance to the next level. Hmm. Alright, well, let's start off with... Oh, right, you know, these are all things that it's asking me to do. Ah, oh, okay, there's lots of different stuff that it wants me to do. I wonder if there's meta progression. I have no clue. These little drawings, they look like extra credits artwork. You have hints enabled? Yeah, probably. You can disable hints in the game and video options, but it's advised to keep them on if you're a new player. I am a new player. All right, get out of here. Let's have them move around and start thinking about what we're going to do with this. A nomad is roaming the planet, ready to settle. Oh, we are on a timer here. Okay, well, you better get to bleeding work. Let's start with some ocean. I'm going to have you create some kind of mountainous stuff over here. And you're going to give me some uh, forest work over here. I got some new things here that I haven't seen before. Maybe I would have seen them in the previous level, but I did not. You're going to go further along, and we're going to have all swampy set up their disgusting swamp right here. Uh, whoops. Swamp right here. And you are going to need to put down some food for these people to eat. I keep forgetting it's left click to select someone. I keep hitting right click instead. An Aurora. Aurora wave. Healing and... Alright. Very good. Very good. Here you are then. We'll probably benefit from getting some animals over here as well. And then they can get what's for. And these people like their herbs, didn't they? There, they can go get their herbs. And as for you, I want me some mountains out here. Big, big mountains. So what do we have here? We've got Castle Path. And they want to get a lot of food. Well, we have a lot of food, but we could always do with more food, couldn't we? next to an apple tree, dandelion, or strawberry. And these are transmutations. So perhaps what I want to do is transmutate you into something. A nomad is roaming. Don't make a nice place. The nomad might end up settling close to another village, rivaling for resources. Oh, no. That sounds like bad news. Well, hopefully he ends up around here, where there's lots of lovely stuff for him. Or maybe they're going to want some precious minerals. Who's to say? Technology, advanced minerals, herb plants, yeah, all these are things. Swamp giant makes animals to provide, well, yeah, go and have some weird animals. Did you get your transmutation? Hmm. Wait, did I, did I actually have you do your growth aspect on here? I guess you already did your growth. Go and growth aspect something else. that do anything? Oh, you have a leafy aspect. Upgrades a plant with a leaf aspect. Eh, give it a go. See what happens. As for you, you go and do your growth aspect on... Uh, where was it? There it was. 
You got those minerals here, but there's not really much in the way of animal life. Maybe doing three of these at once is a bit much. And these people love their fruits, give them even more. I'm not so sure this is ecological regeneration game, more of a god game. Alright, there we go, we can get our tomatoes here, that'll make these people potentially happy. But we also want to get domestic animals around here for these buggers to eat. Oh, these people should have loads of food to get their granary up and operational. Leafy aspect. Upgrades a plant with leafy aspects. Could I do that with you? Are you a leafy enough aspect? I don't know. These people do have access to food. They want a lot more technology, though. Oh, we can give them more technology. Give them all the, all the herbs they could ever want. Not sure if that did anything for you or not. Go try making it more fertile then. Yeah, whatever it is seems to be locked. Well, matters not. These people have loads of technology that they can get access to. So they'll get their project done no problem, surely. Although they're all greedy. They're all bleeding greedy. Uh, a forest ambassador has appeared. He can upgrade the following abilities. Right, depends who I give him to, it seems. Gives wealth to animals. Kill rat, gain three gold. Sounds good to me. Hey, rock boy. I don't use you that much. You go and pick him up. Okay, we've got ourselves a desert here. Requires wealth, precious minerals, exotic animals. We can do all those things. Hell, they got plenty of wealth right there. And not much food, but some food. Okay, but now we have these two looking at each other with menacing eyes. Since they have animal husbandry here, perhaps they're going to want some more... Animals. Which one gave animals again? Didn't you do animals? No, water boy did animals. Where am I going to slap your animals down on? There you go. There are your animals. Still within their borders as well, so that's good. I wonder if you can grab all the ambassadors. Can we go multi ambassador? No, no. What did you do again? I didn't really pay attention. We'll give you to the swamp people since you're from the swamp. Lovely. You can see what aspects you've applied to the tile next to the symbiosis is Jake. Aspects are different from transmutations. Ah, there it is. Growth aspect. Food. Natura. No aspect on you. Perhaps you should just be smacking down every aspect and everything. Makes a mineral rise in the ground and provides tech. These people have no tech. Perhaps they would want some tech. Let's give them some tech. Oh, but it wouldn't be within their lands now, would it? Ah, but this free range thing ain't doing anything for them. Give them technology so they may defend themselves better. What did I bring you over here for? Can't remember. What are these people all about? Have they even had their project here? Yeah, yeah, they've got their druid going on. Extra tech for each plant within the borders. What do we count as plants here? A fruit plant? Have some fruit plants then, I'm not. Mm, oily roots. Swamp. Marshton. It's 
Not a lot going on here, though. Go and have some fruity plants over there. As for you, let's see what we can do to bring... Ah, exotic animals. We'll give these people some exotic animals. Why the heck not? They may or may not get some wealth out of that. Oh, well, looks like they're getting a bit infringy here. Herbivore, plus three wealth if next to a plant. Can we do plants as well? Does a herb count as a plant? The swampy ass, uh, the swampy aspects getting a little dangerously close to these people. I guess it counts. Now while we're at it, toxic aspect. Give it a toxic aspect. Go on. And then we can turn you into the barrel cactus. Transmutes lesser leaf or better toxic. Yeah, whatever. Just do it. Get ourselves a nice cacti here. And then I could have you probably do some kind of leafy aspect. Upgrades a plant. Fertility boost. I don't think I want either of those. Upgrade a plant. Earthquake. Smashes the surface of two great punches. 55 damage to villagers, but less to armies. Are they going to have armies now, are they? Do you have any kind of upgradey thing? Exotic aspect. Upgrades an animal with an exotic aspect to add wealth. We have those. Are you the exotic animals? Yeah, you are. On you go. A desert ambassador has appeared. You can upgrade the following. I don't think our watery guy has the... has anything going on for him, so you go and pick him up. Yeah, they're growing out to the water. I wonder what we can do in the water tiles. Time remaining 20 minutes. I see. I wonder what, if anything, we're actually aiming for here. They don't seem to have more projects that they want to, to do, do they? Have you guys already done your project? Did you have a project? You have. Your giants are growing stronger and stronger, however, it seems that the humans have noticed this. At some point, the humans will no longer be impressed with completing some projects and demand higher levels. With six ambassadors giving, the humans will no longer give ambassadors for normal projects. With ten, no longer for upgraded. Fourteen, no longer for great projects. Okay, well, now we know. You go and grab that, and... Monsoon. Blessed rain that upgrades surrounding patches with a fertility boost and heals the ocean giant. Aspect abilities have better effects. Okay, well, good for them. I'm sure there was something else I was wanting to do. Oh, right. They're wanting to bring another settlement in here. <clears throat> we can do exactly that, can't we? Go and mash down some more minerals over here for them. And we'll give them some domestic animals as well. We'll just do a whole lot for these people. Even give them some herbs and stuff. And even some fruits. See what they make of this. Yeah, I would like to go and put some delicious animals into the ocean. Maybe give the swamp people a reason to go and expand in that direction. Port Town. Sounds like a suspicious place. Oh, they're going to need to expand out a bit more if they want to get this stuff. Well, with a bit of luck they will. Have some exotic animals while you're at it. Hold on, didn't that thing already have something else? No, don't. I think I planted something there. Ah, oh, well, they can get what they want here. Go and get some nice advanced minerals or whatever. Um, fertility boost. Maybe the watery guy can give us some watery animals. Yeah, maybe I can put domestic animals in the water. Let's try that then. Yeah, I noticed I crushed something out of existence on that tile, but too bad for them. You want some tech? 
Well, you have quite a bit of tech. Remember, to advance in this game, you must unlock greater powers and eras. You need to achieve different developments. Different developments listed at the start of the game, but also the unlocks menu. Some are easier than others. Try different things. Mm-hmm. Where was that shown? Developments. Finish an era, 100 prosperity, 100 prosperity, 100 prosperity. And these must be for the different eras, right? Maybe it's different difficulties. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I think it is. I most certainly think it is. So you want the wealth and tech, and you have most of that, but you don't have the, you do not have the wealth. Maybe some more exotic animals will help with that. And maybe I can have you upgrade those exotic animals. And maybe you can toxically upgrade doesn't seem to be anything you want to toxically upgrade. What a shame. Ah oh, well, I'm sure they'll figure it out from that. Now that still wasn't enough wealth, was it? We can transmute you though. There we go. That's potentially better. It gives two something though. Don't know what that purple stuff is. I'm sure it's not important. None of these have transmutations going for them. I wonder if anything can transmute and I've been ignoring it. Yeah, like you, I can get some armadillos going. I don't know if the transmutations are always a better thing to do or not. A massive school, plus one animal range for each other mackerel within animal range stacks up to two times. So what you're saying is... We could have more animals down here. Oh yeah, yeah, that boosted you up good. Can I then further boost you? That's a no. Was it you who's able to boost the animals? Upgrades an animal with an exotic aspect. Great, go and upgrade both of these. Looks like these people are trying to upgrade to a plantation here. For which they need an absurd amount of food. Oh, scary stuff. Well, at least these animals should be giving them a, a little bit more, but otherwise... You probably have to play a lot around with symbiotics to get a whole lot of that. Oh, slow down there with the advisory stuff. Who doesn't have an advisor? Or an ambassador, rather. You don't have one, so go and pick them up. What are we getting here? Oh, it's getting wealthy. The problem is these people need food, not wealth. So I guess that does call for planting. Not all transmutations are good for what the village wants to do. Yeah, that, they, these people don't seem to care about wealth. Which is a bad idea. Everybody should be caring about wealth here. The food and use gathered by the food were growing irresponsibly fast. <laughs> so they're breeding too much. They also look considerably better dressed than what we saw before. And tooled up. Quite nice to see it grow like that. Stupid monkey face. Alright, go over there and do what's for. They want trebuchets, good lads. Alright, so these things give pitiful amounts of food. They want to be next to strawberries or apple trees. So we should probably give them a an aspect. And then if they grow into strawberries, suddenly we have a good bit extra food coming out of some of these. They don't want technology though, what a shame. Yeah, I give them everything they need to get some techers going. And they just they don't care. They don't want it at all, they just want food, food, and more food. 
Hungry buggers. Alright, well, food's all they want, food's all they get. I think that actually reduced the amount of food on here when I gave it that, um... Gave it that thing. It was given quite a lot and now it gives quite a lot less. Probably that uh, allowed it to give out tech, but these people don't seem to care about tech. This, for example, gives a huge amount of extra food. Yeah, damn near halved it, didn't it? I wonder if I could try growth aspect on you instead. You've currently got a potential growth aspect for food and natura. What's this going to do for you? A whole lot of nothing. A whole heap of nothing. Try doing something here. Good for you, but it looks like you need to transmute in order to get more aspects going for you. So now I can add another aspect to you. Let's try this then. I thought I'd be able to replace the existing aspect, but no. Alright, that brings back some of the food, but not all of it. Lesser leaf, growth aspect. I wonder if this counts as part of their territory or not. Could try it out, couldn't I? Um, the hunt aspect, fertility boost. I got space here for fertility boost, we'll try it out. Upgrades any patch of fertility boost aspect ability. Ah, right, so it just improves the aspect, it's not an aspect of its own. I see, I see. Alright, what was I wanting to do here? Let's try giving them some animals. Hopefully they don't just eat up all the, all the foods here. Ah, well that caused them to expand at least. I wonder what drives the expansion there. See, so they even expanded out here to get more of the uh, the mackerels. Can you make these mackerels better? <laughs> I don't think we need wealth on them, though. I've been kind of ignoring the other villages here. The project is close to run out of time. Yeah, I get the idea. Which project? Is it this one? Yeah, because they want tons of tech. And these guys want tons of... Yeah, they want tons of wealth. Oh, good for them. Uh, where was my head at, though? Yeah, two things. I wanted to check what I can do with you. That extra wealth. Not really do it. Oh, right, I could have transmuted you into a parrotfish. Completely getting rid of that food. Well, maybe not. It still has that... regular food from chickens and mackerels. Gain wealth and tech for each different fish within the animal's range. And this, I assume, is your animal range. But that leaves you free for another aspect. I want to try that out then. Could I give you the hunting aspect? Adds danger. Ah, let's try it out. Man, Max's backseating instincts are just in full flow today. Don't know how he lives with himself. There we go. <laughs> it gives his little sneeze again there. Extra food of at least three natura. Well, I don't think we have any natura going for us here. Hmm. Danger makes a village not want to kill others, so it's pretty important on longer campaigns. That's so. Right. Plus three natura. Don't really see much in the way of natura, do we? Let's try the hunt aspect on these, uh, on the sweet domesticated ones. 
Although I'm not sure if the point is to hunt domesticated ones. Ah, we can get ourselves some beavers. The bloody beavers from uh, Rimworld. Chasing me even here. Alright, we haven't used much of Swamp Man for upgrading anything, have we? Let's go and make them some toxic beavers. Geologist shall ask who that. I actually don't like managing multiple villages here. It's a scutter. I don't like jumping back and forth. Go and grab this thing. Scoop them up. Yeah, I wonder what a toxic beaver is like. The animal's still locked. Develop the humans directly to unlock it. Maybe I will. Oh, the plantation was completed. I didn't think I'd given them enough food. I still don't think I've given them enough food, but there you go. And it's giving them a ton of food and a decent amount of awe. They grow quicker and doesn't raise their greed. Hmm. Alright, what do these toxic beavers look like? Did that, did that do anything? I'm not sure it did. No, it doesn't seem to work at all. Yeah, okay, that's why it only upgrades plants. What a shame. Can we do any other kind of upgrades for them? We've got the lesser hunt aspect. And that only affects plants. So the other upgrade that I can do, I suppose, would be the exotic one. Hmm. It doesn't have that Natura, so it doesn't get to actually trigger that. I'm not actually sure what this Natura is coming from. Oh, these guys continue to push out their borders, and I mean good for them, as they should. Right, let's go and just pish down on all of this. It's going up and up. Are you just stuck there doing that for a while or what? Upgrade surrounding patches. The fertility boost heals the ocean giant. Mm-hmm. Not seeing a whole lot coming out of that. But... Uh, level 1 fertility. Progressively raises the chance of getting a better aspect up to the potent aspect. Looks like a pretty potent aspect to me. Potent, potent. Well, this one doesn't have one at all. There we go, lesser, right? So it grows from lesser up to potent, if I had to guess. But it doesn't have the natura to get that. Does that mean I can give some, like, natural plant life underground, uh, underwater? Mm, try that. Try putting some... Oh, no, I can't. Cannot be doing that. Or can I? Try it anyway. Goodbye, parrotfish. Hello underground planty things I think I'm not sure that did anything really not sure that did anything maybe we can make underwater herbs no it would appear not that's strange I could do one here, apparently, though. Whoa, I'm not sure these people are going to like that. The swamp grows ever more. How much can I swampify these people's lives? Oh, well, it doesn't want to swampify this, though. I could, however, turn it into a swamp. I, I don't think they'd like that. I really don't think they would like that. These people are now eating more than they have. 
food gathered by the amount of food in the borders is not growing. They still don't care about wealth or tech. I wonder where prosperity comes into all this. And then they've got all this. The more greedy red faces, the greedier the village is. Greedy villages may cause mischief. But we have awe, which probably reduces that. Not influenced by danger. Danger at this level is no threat. Defending themselves, stopping their greed. The amount of danger is too high and the village is slowly dying. <laughs> uh, but it's uh, if we make certain kinds of... I want to try making some dangerous animals then. What would be dangerous animals? Domestic or exotic? Who did the exotic animals again? I've managed to forget. Did you do it? Yeah, there we go. Let's go and threaten these people with some exotic animals. We could have foxes and beavers. Neither of those sound dangerous enough, do they? The lesser predator aspect. Who's hiding that from me? Noble, seismic, hunt, fruit, migrate. Huh. Ah, damn. We need a desert ambassador on you. Can I switch the ambassadors or are they stuck to you like glue? Probably stuck to them. Pick up ambassador. I love the giant to pick up a pet. No, we've already done that. Right. Well, that's that's taught me. If I want my predators, well, I gotta get the desert ambassador onto you. I don't think we have one floating around, do we? I mean, I probably would if I actually helped them with their their little thing here. But come on, they want tons of wealth. I'm not about to just give them that. Anything else that could make these dangerous. Let's try putting some regular old animals here and see if either of them could be upgraded. Rabbits and beavers. Let's give it a go though. Put down the hunt aspect on it. Continue to starve out this, pe uh, this population. We get our beavers. We did beavers before. I think we had beavers over here. Well, I probably killed off the beavers now, haven't I? I was trying to make my toxic beavers and that wasn't coming to fruition. Yeah, still locked. Now about these ones? Needs uh, lesser exotic. Transmutes with a lesser exotic aspect. Who had the exotic one? I haven't given up on hope and having some animals kill these people. Now all the gods focusing here, ignoring all the other wee villages. But that's just... That's just beavers again. Damn it all. I'm not going to be able to slaughter these people with an army of beavers, although they might eat up all these trees. Hmm. Oh, we've only got a few seconds left to go. And I, I'm only using about uh, two-thirds of the planet, though. There's more to come. The giants are losing energy. They will sleep between now and one minute. If you're lucky, you might be able to improve nature just a bit more. You mean a random time? All right, well, with your last dying gasp of breath, make sure that you... Oh, oh, are you falling asleep there? No, man, you gotta... You gotta swamp it up. Okay, then, forget that. Earthquake them. Can't let these villagers think they own us. With your last bit of might... Yeah! And uh, now we're talking. They think they can just take from me and give me nothing in return. Such is what they get. Oh, they got little tombstones. And like everything, it fades to the nothingness. You got any life left in you? You think you could do another one? No, the cooldown's way too big on it. Ah, 
There we go. A couple of unlocks. Now what those do for me, I don't know. Well, now we do. We've unlocked Dragon Fruit, which is probably the worst fruit that exists in the world. It transmutes from a kumquat or a ginger, known by names of da 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 da. Big white flowers, dragon fruits live only for one night. One night? That's grim. Finish an era with a swamp village of a hundred. Well, I would have gotten the one for finishing with a forest place of that prosperity, but evidently not. And then it just takes you back to here. So yeah, this is meta progression. And you can make yourself the biggest and best uh, planets out there. I, however, don't think I'm going to be doing that. I think I've seen everything I need to see in this game. Cool to see, but to play, eh, I'm not, uh, I'm not sold on it. A game like this, I'm not really interested in having agents move around and do it all for me, and ultimately it didn't really feel like I was working towards all that much. It shares similarities with a game like Islander, but I far prefer playing Islander. Still, pretty cool, just... I think, uh, I think I actually preferred Endless Legend over this out of the games played this week. Hmm. I don't really have much more to say about it than this, this game didn't have that much of an impact. Looked cool, pretty comfy. But I think that's all I'll be seeing of that. Hmm, that cuts it a bit short. I wonder if I'll have anything else wild carding up. Well, time will tell. But until I do figure that one out, cheers and a cheerio.